Hey guys, welcome back. The wig that I am using today is from Ballet Swig. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Packaging is super cute, super summer, spring look. So inside the package comes with their Ballet wig brochure just giving you basic instructions on how to care for your wig and how to get the best out of your wig so it comes with wash care instructions and how to style your wig as well so let's go ahead and move on to the actual wig so typically I would style this wig on my head, but I want you guys to really get into the hairline on this wig. So I'm gonna put this wig on a mannequin head and just look how pretty this hairline is. Now this lace is not transparent. However, it is a light shade, so it is going to give off a very natural look. So before I put this wig on, I am gonna go through it with a hot comb, just making sure I press out the roots very, very well. Now this lace frontal wig does come with a pre-plucked hairline. However, I did go in and pluck the hairline a little bit more to get the look that you guys are seeing now. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the wig on. I'm not going to glue this wig down. I'm not going to use the ball stocking cap method. It's going to actually be a true glueless install like you guys have seen several times before. So the wig fits really, really snug and I love that. Because of this perfect fit, I do not have to worry about sewing on a elastic band, which could definitely be time consuming. So take a look at this parting space. This wig is supposed to have six inches of parting space, but baby, let me tell you something. This has got to be eight inches of parting space because that's a whole lot of parting space. Oh, and let me say this, this wig came with the knots already bleached, so I did not have to bleach the knots on this wig at all, which also, again, saved so much time when styling this wig. So I am going to go in with some hair wax, and I'm going to smooth out my hair, and I'm going to go through each section of this wig just to make sure the roots are really smooth and flat, because later in this video, I'm going to straighten this hair to see how much of the hair is going to actually straighten and then i'm also going to see if this hair is going to curl back up after i have straightened the hair so i'll go ahead and press out my roots and i'll be back So before we go any further in the video, just take a moment, okay, <laughs> to just look at this wig hairline. Like, this is absolutely beautiful. And the simple fact that I did not have to bleach this wig, I just had to go in and pluck just a little bit. Um, you definitely don't have to do that with this wig. Either way, you're going to get a very natural look. Um, this curly wig is probably one of the best looking curly wigs with a nice hairline that has been pre-plucked and pre-bleached that I have received in a long time I definitely hope that this company gets more exposure in the future because their hairline alone has like totally sold me on their wig quality like it's amazing like just look at that <laughs> girl come on now um so anyways i am going to section off the hair and see how this hair looks if i straighten it so i am applying some silk element um heat protecting spray because i want the hair to curl back and i'm afraid that if i don't use a heat protectant it's not going to curl back so anyways i'm going to press through the hair with a two inch flat iron and just see how straight the hair actually gets now i'm having to do a couple of presses or a couple run throughs um, to try to get like the kinks and stuff out of there. It's getting straight, but it's not getting bone straight. I can definitely tell already that this hair is going to have a lot of texture to it just because it comes in the deep wave texture. So I'm going to finish doing this and I'll be back.
Okay, so as you guys can see, for the most part, this wig does get really straight. Now, it doesn't get bone straight. I am finding myself having to go through section by section with a flat iron and a hot comb. But as you can see, it looks pretty good considering where it came from. Now, there is still a little bit of texture in the hair as far as like the crimps, as you can see. So I am going to put the wig on a mannequin head and I'm just going to go through and press one more time because I don't want these little kinks to be visible in the hair if I'm going to be wearing it in a straight state. So I'm just going to do a couple more passes and see what I get. Oh, and also for those of you who may be wondering where I got my mannequin stand from, I got it from Amazon. It was under $25, and y'all, this thing is so sturdy. Like, I'm just pulling and yanking on this mannequin head, and it's not going anywhere. I love this mannequin stand. So anyways, as you can see, I'm just going through one more time with the hot comb, making sure there's no little um, kinks or any little... Um, little crimps in the hair so as you guys can see it gets really flat but definitely taking it off and putting it on a mannequin head helps a lot with getting a straight look I actually like this look because the hair has so much texture to it it's not bone straight it has a lot of body to it so I am going to go in with some hair oil and apply that all over the hair and then I'm going to install it and I'll be back and then the ends guys does look a little dry I don't know if that's because of the heat so I am going to apply the oil on the ends of the hair as well not too many split ends um, but I mean honestly guys it's a wig I don't really care about the split ends but <laughs> this wig is pretty so now it's time to put the wig on I just have some basic straight to the back Queen Latifah looking braids from set it off and I'm just going to put the wig right on top again this is no glue no elastic band because this wig is so snug already so um, I'm just making sure I push the stocking cap back because I don't want it to really be that visible and I'm also making sure I pull this lace down far enough so that I don't cut too much of the lace off okay so you guys know the drill I'm going to finish Finish cutting off the lace on this wig and then I'm going to go ahead and do my hairline and then I'll be back to show you guys the final result on this wig with the hair being straightened. Okay, so it is definitely safe to say that this wig will straighten and it will straighten to the point where you don't see any curls or any like crimps in the hair at all. So I'm just running my fingers through the hair and it looks like it's as straight as it is going to get. The texture of this is really nice. It is 180% density and I can definitely feel the density in its straight texture so now it's time to see if this beautiful wig is going to curl back up so i'm going to section off the hair and then i'm going to apply only water and it's not looking like this wig is going to curl back up like i'm so nervous i'm like oh my god what did i just do and i'm also checking on my baby girl because she's laying right here beside me trying to figure out what i'm doing and where i'm at so I'm getting nervous guys because as you can see like this hair is waving up but it's not looking like the texture before I curled it so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some products and keep trying to work in section and hopefully this hair curls back up because ooh, I'm like oh my goodness what did I do Okay, so the wig did curl back up with adding products and I definitely had to add some hair mousse to this hair 
to get the curls to come back. So if you want to wear this wig in the curly or straight texture, you definitely can. You can't go wrong with either look. Now this is the hair completely dry. I do want the hair to have a lot more fluffiness to it. So I'm just going to take a small tooth comb and just comb through the hair. Now while I'm doing this, because this hair is so hydrated with products, I'm not having any issues with the hair tangling or being stopped um, through the process of combing the hair. So the hair quality of this wig is really nice. So if you guys wanna purchase this wig, I definitely recommend that you do so because this wig is so pretty. Also the hairline is bomb. Like I haven't received a curly wig with this type of hairline like in a long, long time. This company nailed it. Um, I really do hope that this company gets some more exposure in the future because this quality wig and their hairline is just A1. So all purchasing information will be below. Bye guys.